you guys. Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Again, I'm sorry about my voice, but uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. But, all right, here we are. The settlement is Carthago, and we do have a 3v3 siege. Let us take a look at the army comps. We'll start off here with the attackers. We have a Rome being commanded by Strude, and he has quite the assortment of troops. Uh, he has three units of Triarii, three armored legionnaires, two Praetorians, two Eagle, co two Eagle Cohort, one Principe or Principe, one Praetorian Guard, one Gladiator Spearman. His general was a bodyguard. He kind of hid over there in the woods, I believe. He also has three Syrian archers and one unit of the Equites, and they are taking bombs. Oh my god, spread out. Can't stack up like that. Can't stack up like that. Uh, then we do have an Arverni being commanded by Manuel, or Nanuel, I think. And he has four units of Chosen Swordsmen, four Osworn, two Chosen Spearmen. General is a Spear Noble. He also has four units of the Heavy Horse, one Light Horse. Don't see any Gallic Hunters, but I'm assuming they're there. And then we have a Seleucid over here being commanded by the King Frog. And he has five units of Silver Shield Swordsmen, five Thorax Swordsmen, three Silver Shield Pikemen, one of those being his General. So he's got three Pikes and four units of the Syrian Heavy Archers. Getting in onto the defenders factions, we will take a look at Syracuse first, being commanded by Lucius Sicius Dentatus, I believe. And he has seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, four Thoreo Spears, three Samnite Warriors, two Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, General is a Pace Lancer, three Balearic Slingers. Oh, we got Cav coming out. Oh, we got a lot of Cav coming out. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, then we have a Bactria being commanded by Virithus, I think, Virithus. And he has a very easy army. Uh, he's got 15 Thorax Swordsmen. General is an Indian Armored Elephant. And he also has three Syrian Archers. And then we have this. Oh boy, I'm going to slow it down. Actually, I'm going to stop it. Because I don't know if they're going to blast right into this front line of Rome. Alright, so we have a Roxolani Army Sally out here. Which is kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of standard. When you see a Cav Faction, a Horde Faction, you expect a lot of Cavalry. Just expect, because that's all they can bring, is cavalry. So just, this is this is an expectation, like expect, expectation, there we go, expectation. Expectation here, if you're, if you're attacking and there is a horde faction on defense, just be ready for this. But, so we have Roxolani being commanded by Ferurim, and he has 10 units of the Step Noble Lancers, 4 Sarmatian Royal Lancers, one of those being the General, 2 Step Armored Lancers, and 3 units of the Amazonian Riders, the Mercenary Amazonian Light missile cavalry so there's a bow cavalry there but all right guys there you go army comps out of the way and we're going to pick it up right here so hopefully you guys do enjoy this battle replay remember please hit the like button and drop some comments down below love seeing you guys comments let's dive in all right so here we go oh they stopped i thought they were just going to charge right in there might not have been a bad idea to charge in though as these units are still moving forward yeah charge into them just go blast into them Come on, come on. Oh, look at these archers wide open. Archers are wide open. Triaria going to pull away here. Okay, so he's trying to shield a little bit. But these other two units are wide open. And again, look at the damage that Rome has already taken from the artillery. 181 there. Syracuse with 80. The Roxolani one is way over there. But okay, here we go. Here we go. They're charging in. Eagle Cohort getting mowed down by two step, step lancers there. Step noble lancers, you should say. Armored Legionnaires taking a lot of damage as well. Cavalry coming around, and yeah, this is open. Oh, this is open right there. Get into these archers, boys. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get into them. Get into them. Go, 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 go. I see Cav on the other side there for Roxolani, but I don't think they're going to do very well because the Arverni had a ton of cavalry on that other side. So probably not going to do very well. I'm just going to keep maintaining over on this side. Let's see how we're doing. Eagle Cohort down to 140. There was one unit there. Yeah, down to 83 Armored Legionnaires already. Now, what he really wants to be doing is cycle charging. He wants to get them in, in for a couple of seconds, and bring them right back out. Looks like he kind of missed the opportunity here to get around the flank into those archers. He definitely could have gotten into two of those units of the archers there. But it does look like Roxolani coming out with that first initial charge. They are going to pull it back away. There'll be a unit here rear charging some Triarii and Armored Legionnaires as well. Another big charge coming in. Oh, they just got off the tower. Completely unexpecting that charge. Oh, boy. Yeah, Veteran Legionnaires are losing. 
keeping these three units in melee, which is not the greatest idea because they are very heavy shot cavalry. I mean, one of them is winning currently right now, but they do not have the highest of melee defense. So you definitely don't want to leave them in there for very long. Did, oh, he got a unit through. Got into some of the Syrian archers there, down to 73, 72 men. They may come back if they're able to get back behind the lines. Another unit has broken through here. Step Noble Lancers, 36, 39 kills, getting into some of the Praetorians doing a ton of damage against that Praetorian unit. They actually did cycle two other units around, getting into some uh, more of the Praetorians there. Maybe got into some of the archers, looks like he did. Got into a little bit of the Syrian archers here down to 93, this unit here down to 99. But we do have the Gladiator Spearmen are breaking down very, very quickly. Archer unit still there, yeah, it bounced off. Hit that archer unit, do not let them come back. Do not let them come back, and it looks like he is now starting to break his way through here, maybe heading towards Seleucid. Thorax swords were retreating away. This is definitely a good time to charge them, as obviously they are facing the wrong way. But look inside the settlement. The attackers are in here. Arverni making his way in. This is definitely the opportunity. Rome, Rome is kind of lost at the moment, but he doesn't seem like he's doing terrible. This is the opportunity for Arverni and Seleucid to get inside the settlement, though absolutely get in there and start trying to cause damage because you basically it's a 2v3 uh, um, no it's it's kind of 2v2 it's a 2v2 never mind I was going to say it's a little bit in the attackers favor but it is not it is not in the attackers favor yet step noble lancers coming around over here going to get another nice double unit charge in onto the back of that triarii <coughs> excuse me there for the cough see how these guys are doing 108 11 so he's got a couple units that haven't gotten a whole lot of kills yet this unit here though still doing work 85 kills taking on the armored legionnaires getting away again oh no yeah they are oh that guy got shot right in the face as he was closing the distance 96 kills for this unit there looks like they are going to be gone there's only 10 of them left in the unit looks like yeah they're gone okay so that one unit is gone let's get back inside the settlement here oh sworn oh my god what did I miss over here? Did that cavalry actually do work over on this side? Looks like they might have, but Seleucid is bum-rushing the settlement now. Definitely a great idea. Get inside. Get everything inside. <coughs> Excuse me again. Because really, all the attackers have to do, as far as watching their rear lines, is just put some infantry there to block those two breach points, and then they should be fine. Should be fine. Doesn't mean they're going to be fine, but they should be fine for at least a little while. So Thorax swords are moving up behind the Oswald there of Arverni. Another unit of Samnite warriors pulling back. So it does look like Sir Luce, uh, sorry, Syracuse is going to pull away here. Just try and keep an eye on the uh, gate tower there. Sorry about that there, guys. I had to take a sip of uh, my coffee there to try and help my voice just a little bit. I know the coughing could be possibly annoying, but it is what it is for now. Hopefully, I will be feeling better soon. But, oh, we got another big charge. Blasting into another unit of Praetorians, and they have broken through. Goodbye, Syrians. Goodbye, Syrians. 110 kills for that unit of Noble Lancers there. The general is outside, so the Sarmatian Lancers. Oh, yeah, they are. Sarmatian Royal Lancers now coming out, getting into the fight. Blasting through yet another unit of Triarii, which, I mean, okay. It definitely sucks. I'm going to say this for the Roman player right now. It definitely sucks being sallied out on. I've had it had to, I've had it done to me plenty of times. It really sucks. It really sucks. It, I, I, there's really nothing else past I can say that. It really sucks when you're the one that gets victimized by the... Uh, by one of the defending sally out armies it really sucks but back inside the settlement yeah they're moving they are moving up pretty well actually this thorax unfortunately getting javelin in the side by some of those thorax they're probably getting some of the uh is that sam knights that are right there as well yes it is sam knights we got pikes moving way up over here looks like he's trying to get them into this sam knight unit they are a little bit out of position. Actually, no, they're not. They have their shields facing in front of them. It's actually not a terrible setup. Now that they have their... Oh, no. Now they're going to drop. Javelin's in the back. Is there archers? There are. There's archers right there. Syrian archers firing in onto this pikeman unit as he's trying to run away. He's luckily only lost 10 men so far. Not bad. Definitely wants to turn them back around. Have them facing forward with their shields up. 
Up on the wall over here, we have some Osworn now making their way down over here, getting into the Thorax Swordsman. Another Osworn right there in Shield Wall, taking on another unit of the Thorax Swordsman. Honestly, this probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Get one of his chosen swordsmen over here into the flank of this Thorax. You can see they're facing, basically have their backs to them, so this would not be a bad idea at all. Uh, do we have any pressure on the staircase? Not just yet. We have a unit of pikes here, but they're not really in the greatest of positions. They are taking on some of the mercenary veteran hot plays. They're actually killing a decent amount. Down to 84. Kills only for the pikes is 5. So I'm guessing it's the Syrians over here getting the kills. Let's see. 15, 28, uh, 14, and 14. So not a ton of kills, but that should be enough. I think that would be enough to replicate the losing, the, the, the lost men from that veteran hoplite unit. But now we got some silver shield swordsmen making their way up the staircase. And I'm going to make a mention real quick. So I was watching a Fight Me video the other day, and uh, he was talking about the Silver Shield Swordsmen, how they are classified, or he calls them, mid-tier infantry killers. So we'll see how well they do against the, uh, the Etruscans here. Or oh, sorry, veteran hoplites. But yeah, little shout out there for Fight Me, so definitely I will put the link for his channel in the description below. Get on over there, check out his channel. Awesome Total War YouTuber. Awesome, awesome Total War YouTuber. Really great guy as well. Actually, veteran half lights have pressed forward again, but oh, we got silver shields actually turning themselves. Might not be the best idea. Well, they, they do have some guys fighting against these veterans still. Veterans are dropping very, very quickly though. Oh, this attack has stopped. Oh yeah, this attack has been taken care of. Silver shield pikemen, unfortunately, only 18 kills. They are wavering. Let's see what's going on back outside over here. We just have a little bit of roam left. Uh, we got the general's bodyguard there. Looks like they were just fighting a unit of the Sarmatian lancers. And unfortunately, look, yeah, it looks like this is all we have left for Rome. He's got the general, one unit of Praetorian Guard, and a Triarii. Everything else over here has been destroyed, but I also have to say Roxolani has definitely taken his fair share of losses as well. He did have 19 units. He's down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he's lost about 12 units over here. So this has definitely been a pretty big fight. <coughs> General getting dropped. Yep, I think he's about to get charged in the back again. Yeah, he is. So that is pretty much going to be the end of Rome. Again, big battle over here, though. A lot of units were lost. Rome, unfortunately, lost his whole army, but he definitely did a lot of damage to Roxolani. So that was really big. It was really, really big. Arverni still has a lot of his cavalry left. Actually, looks like he's got three units of the heavy horse. So did he lose one of the heavy horse, or are they inside? Not sure exactly where they are. They might be gone. Maybe he did send a unit over there to try and help out. But he's only got three units remaining. Maybe he's got a fourth sitting here. Maybe they're hidden. But he does still have some pretty strong units of cavalry left. Doesn't look like he's lost very much at all. No. Doesn't look like he's lost very many of that cavalry. So that could still be something. Maybe the Arverni cavalry can get over here and take out these My shock guys. Ball. They can get into melee with them and hold them in melee. They could definitely do a lot of damage against them. Heavy horse are really... Oh, looks like that's what he's planning on doing. He is making it. And there's the fourth unit. So the fourth unit is still there. Very strong. Only lost one man. Yeah, this is an opportunity. I would use the light horse to catch this cavalry and then get the heavy horse over there. I mean, there's not really much he's going to be able to do against the, the Amazonian, the, the uh, archer cav. It's really not a lot he's going to be able to do against that. But he could easily get this, this light horse over here to catch up to at least some of this heavy shot cavalry and then bring one or two of his heavy horse in there would probably finish these guys off. Maybe. Or definitely, well, these 22, 14, these guys still have 55 and 68 for the general. So it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, no, already, Arverni is moving. He is still moving over there. Let's take a look back inside the settlement, how we're doing on the staircase. Silver Shield Swordsman, 65 kills, taking on some Thorax. Mercenary Veteran Hoplites are still there. I guess they stopped firing at them. Oh, no, he's firing over here now. Firing into a unit of Sam Knights. Unfortunately, shooting right into their shields is not a good idea. You won't get a whole lot of kills. Honestly, it probably would be better for the Syrian, uh, for the, uh, for the Seleucid player to have his archers back over here, firing it onto the staircase. But another unit of Silver Shield Pikemen have made their way forward onto the staircase behind two units here. We have a Silver Shield and a Thorax Swordsman. Oh boy. Thoreo Spears for Syracuse has shown up. 47 kills for them. Wow. Doing some damage. 
Definitely doing some damage. I did see real quick the Roxolani banners are making their way back inside the settlement, so they will be able to be used for any sort of maybe rear charges or you know just distractions basically for the attackers moving forward. Looks like Seleucid's kind of solidifying the stairs a little bit, but I don't really think he's got a lot of... Oh, no, he does still have infantry back here. He's still got one, two, three units of his Silver Shield Swordsman, still has his Silver Shield Pikeman back here. Arverni still has a lot of infantry over here as well. Uh, does look like he got the Celtic Horse over there. The Light Horse did catch... Oh, no, no, back up. Back up. Yeah, not a good idea. They got over there, though. They did scare the rest of Roxolani back inside. All right, so back over here, though. Oh, we got rocks a lot. Is he firing? Who's firing? It was definitely just an artillery piece that fired right over here. Oh, it is rocks a lot. Yep. Firing at the heavy horse. Yep, run away, boys. Run away. Run away. All right, so back over here. Back to here with the Thorax Swordsman still holding the front line, taking on some Chosen Swordsman, two units of Chosen Swordsman. Again, I would definitely get them out of Shield Wall and have them actually start attacking. Instead of just standing there in shield wall fighting these because you you're you're one of the attackers you need to get in like shield wall is useful but like yeah he's not he's not really getting very much ground this thorax swordsman is losing decisively how are we looking on the wall osworn here 67 kills down to 59 men currently taking on some more of the thorax swordsman there the light horse just died i don't know what he did there i don't know what he did just there <coughs> Looks like Roxolani may be coming back out here with the horse archers. The Amazonian riders, maybe? Well, he's keeping his general he's keeping everybody back here. And he didn't lose. Okay, so he still has four units of them. Okay. Back over on the other side. Seleucid's so starting to slowly make their way forward here. They're in shield wall. So unfortunately they won't be able to really throw their javelins. And in shield wall, they won't great get the greatest of charge bonus either. Starting to get shot by the arrow tower here now. Starting to lose a couple. He's down two men so far. And it's Thorax and Sam Knights. I want to say that the Silver Shield Swordsman would win that. Oh, no. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, the Javelins. Murder Sticks catching the Silver Shield Swordsman. And that allowed the Sam Knights to get a charge off onto the Silver Shield Swordsman. That is rough. We actually have Syracuse now pressing our Verney back. Verney is now coming down off the wall. Now, we still have infantry here. We have two units, Silver Shield Swordsman and Thorax Swordsman, outside for Seleucid. Definitely wants to get them inside. Really definitely wants to get them inside. We have the Gallic Hunters have now shown up. Let's see what they're at. 24, 12, 12, and 27. It looks like there's a lot of archers up here. Yeah, the Amazonian Riders are firing. Syrian Archers, 137, 190, so they're probably out of ammo. But the Amazonian Riders are now going to start unloading here as well onto those Gallics, and they're going to drop them. Gallic Armor, not good. It's only a 10. Only a 10 here, and he's just firing into the infantry. He's firing into, although they were retreating. At least one of them was retreating there. I think that was that unit. So Bactria actually setting up another unit of Thorax Swordsmen there. I would honestly have these Gallics firing up here on the hill. Because the Amazonian Riders only have 10 armor as well. But, oh, we got another unit. Syrian Archers joining the pin cushioning as well. Dropping these Gallics down very, very quickly. We have another Syrian right here. Looks like they may be out of ammunition. Only 42 kills. Yeah, that is one of the downsides of firing straight into your enemy. Like, right into their face. It's just not going to get a lot of kills. You're going to be shooting into their shields a lot. Silver Shield and Swordsman now making their way up here towards some Sam Knights. Solution on the move here yet again. But I don't really know how much that's going to help. They're already really far down in the balance of power. But the battle is never over. I want to say the battle is never over until it, honestly, um, until it's over, over. It's never fully over. You never know. Just go for kills. Basically, just go for kills. Get what you can. I mean, the Sam Knights, yeah, losing decisively. Thorax moving forward. They're probably going to start losing as well. And we have a Thoreos moving up over here. 31 kills total for them. Another year, Sam Knights up on the wall there. Sam Knights here with 61 kills. Archers firing again. Yeah, we got Syrian archers there firing away. 67 kills for them. They are just firing up into this huge blob of infantry right now. Yeah, Sam Knights are losing. Thorax haven't lost anybody just yet. Oh, oh, the Thoreos. Oh. 
shots, tosses from the Thoreos into the back of the Silver Shield Swordsman. Not really killing very many of them, though. Not noticing a whole lot drop. He's got 34 kills. He had 31 when he came up here. So, yeah, he hasn't really been very effective. 35, 36. So, yeah, they're not getting the very many kills. That's interesting. That is definitely interesting. 37. So, they've only got six. Look at all those javelins going down there. Seven kills. Wow, that's that's interesting. Now, I find that to be very interesting. Uh, back in the center here, though, Thorax Swordsman getting them yeah, evaporated. Uh, we got the Silver Shield Pikeman General for Solution starting to make his way forward. The Archer's going to charge up first, maybe try and stop any infantry charging. Nope, they're running away. Okay, I thought they were going to go up there. Are they still have bows? No, they have their daggers out. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea, but oh, no, 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 actually, don't do that. Don't charge into a Silver Shield Pikeman. Definitely don't want to do that. Nope, no, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's charging down into those pikes. Kind of got into the line a little bit. He's going to pull away. So the shield pikeman general going to reform his lines, maybe get ready to press up the staircase. Uh, we do have the silver shield swords that have made their way over here, but it looks like Arver... No, what is Arverni doing? Why did he pull away? That I don't understand why Arverni pulled back. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot of infantry left. Maybe that's why. He's got a chosen swordsman there with 46. Another unit there. I mean, it's a full unit. 160 chosen swordsmen. Still all this cavalry, though. But unfortunately, inside Carthage, unless you can get through a line somewhere, the cavalry's really not going to be very effective. You're not really going to be able to do very much. I mean, having it there definitely killed off the cavalry that Roxolani had out over on this side. Um, or at least maybe was a, a threat to killing off the Roxolani cavalry over there. But yeah, unfortunately for Arverni, his cavalry is really not going to be useful until he's able to, until one of his allies, or at least at least Seleucid, maybe even himself with some infantry, is able to break through a line somewhere. We have the Thorax and the Silver Shield Swordsman up over on, oh no, it's two Silver Shields. Ooh, oh no, it's the Thorax and the Silver, okay. Thorax and the Silver Shield Swordsman taking on one lone unit of Thorax Swordsman. Another unit of Thorax have moved forward. I mean, another thing that maybe Arverni could try and do is get one of his heavy horse to line up like right here and maybe get a flank charge in onto that Thorax Swordsman since it's not in shield wall. He might be able to do, uh, he probably wouldn't be able to break through because of how thick the line is. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six men deep. Yeah, he probably wouldn't break through with the Arverni heavy horse. Oh wait, maybe he's doing that. Maybe he's getting ready to do that, but I do see what else is getting ready to be done. Silver Shield Pikeman General down to 48 men. 28 kills, and they're still getting shot. Still getting shot. Silver Shield Swords with their 76 kills. They are getting shot. Oh, and we had a big flank. Thorax Swords are coming in from Bactria, helping out the Thorax of Syracuse. Averni Chosen Swords went down to 31 men. 109 kills for them. I think that's one of the higher kill units that we've seen so far for the attackers. They are pushing in over here. Oh, he actually, like, oh, he, he, he moved in another unit. Brought another fresher unit of Thorax Swordsman up to the line. Going to continue trying to hold up against these two units. I mean, again, another thing that Arverni could try to do, this is the battery of Thorax Swordsman right there. He could try and get a cavalry charge into that line. They're facing to the side. That would be a good target. It would be a good target right there. Charging into those thorax. Try and help these the, the shield of shields and the other thorax swordsman unit there. Oh, look at this. What is this? You got a thorax just sitting up there for Bactria. Our Vernie's not even paying attention to it. 68 kills. Wonder if they just threw all their javelins down. All right, so back in here on the center staircase. Looks like we have one final unit of Thorax Swordsman there. Uh, we actually had Roxolani getting a unit of his Amazonian Riders through. Amazonian Riders charging into some of the Syrian Heavy Archers there. 80 kills for them. Looks like they're getting taken out. Another unit coming down. Samnite Warriors coming down off the wall. They are being engaged by a unit of Silver Shield Swordsman. Silver Shield Swordsman may be able to win that fight. But again, unfortunately, they're in Shield Wall. They have... 
Oh, they only have 142 kills. Sarmatian Royal Lancer General has 152. 140. Yeah, 152. Sorry. But this is looking very, very rough for the attackers. I don't really think they're going to make much more ground here. I really don't. They've, they've, they kind of ran out. I mean, that Sally Out definitely proved to be um, dominating over here, taking Rome out. Rome had a lot of really strong infantry. Really, really strong infantry. You can see that. Again, I made mention earlier. I'll make mention of it again. Uh, with the lack of Roxolani still having any of his big bad cavalry left. He's only got four units left. And he had 19 units. So, Rome definitely did a good amount of damage. Uh, but this looks like it's going to be over. If the attackers... Yeah, he's got the one silver shield. Looks like they're going to make their way up there. Try and take out these thorax. But that's going to basically allow this Amazonian rider to come around and charge it onto the back of that Silver Shield Swordsman. So, tough battle. Really, really tough battle. Here comes Amazonian Riders again. Charging on through, and he's going to get into the Galax. Is Arverni not here? Maybe Arverni left. Because his army's not even moving. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Yeah, I think he might. I think Arverni might have left. So. Final six minutes of this battle, guys, and we can kind of see that this is over. Balance of power is absolutely showing that this fight is over, and it does not look like Arverni is making any move. So I'm going to cut it here, and we will get to the ending army composition screen. Here comes Amazonian Riders again. They're charging onto some Syrians. Just bust right through them, no problem. So, all right, guys, I will see you in on the ending army composition screen. All right, guys, so here we are in on the MD com Army Composition screen, and uh, it was a close victory for the defenders. Uh, basically, yeah it, was, yeah, it was rough. It was a very rough attack. Rome getting annihilated there in the beginning, but he's still almost, I mean, he got over 900 kills, so it's not bad. But all right, let's take a look. We will take a look first here at Roxolani being commanded by Ferorum. He was the one that sent the replay in, so thank you very much, bud, for sending it over. 2,863 kills. Great job. Really solid, almost 3,000. Uh, his general 152, the rest of his Royal Lancers here, 271, 255, 290. These four units did very well. These three units did really, really well. Uh, step Armored Lancers didn't really get a whole lot. Top was 70. Then getting into his Step Noble Lancers, 222, 260, 185, 112, 100. And his, look at those, Amazonian horse archers there. Amazonian riders, I should say, 140, 250, and 184. Solid. Uh, then we have Virithus. Here with 1975, so almost 2,000 kills. 324 with the general. That was basically the end of the battle was the uh, Indian Armored Elephant coming out and just basically killing up the rest of Arverni. Uh, so 324 with his general. His archers, 148, 202, 142. Great job. Thorax Swordsman, not doing too good for the first couple units. Uh, 153, 236, 103, 108, 117. So a lot of his infantry either wasn't used or kind of didn't do very well. Getting in with Lucius Sicasis Dentit. Dentatus, Dentatus there, 1291. General wasn't involved. Slingers really didn't do anything. Sam Knights, 132. Uh, the Mercenary Veteran Hoplites held that staircase for a very long time. Not a lot of kills, but they held for a very long time. Thorax Swordsman there, 135, 152, 161. And his Thoreos here, 76, 70. So some of them getting some good javelin volleys. In onto the attackers, we have Manuel here playing as our Verney. Uh, 988 total, 9 kills for his general. His calf didn't really do very much. Unfortunately, like I said, after that sally out was done, it really wasn't very much for him to be able to do with his cavalry. Gallic Hunters didn't get a whole lot. Top unit there, 69. Giggity, you win. Chosen Swordsman, 109. Yeah, 109. That's the top there. His Osworn, unfortunately, was not able to get a whole lot of kills either. 96 for the top there. And his Chosen Spearman here, top was a 27. Then we have Strood playing as Rome, 15 for the general. His Equites didn't get a lot. Syrian archers got run over. Uh, let's see, anything get over 100 kills? I don't think that they did. You got an 82 on a Triarii, a uh, 92 on an Armored Legionnaire. Yeah, not a whole lot of kills, unfortunately. And then we have Frog King here with Seleucid, 913 kills. 28 with the general. His archers, again, not doing very well. 97 for the top unit there. His other pikes got wrecked. Silver Shield Swordsman, top was 94, 96, 80. And his Thorax Swordsman here, unfortunately not allowed to, or not able to get a whole lot of kills, 79 and 73 for the top two units there. But all right, guys, there you go. End of today's battle replay. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please remember to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the content around, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new, on the road to 11,000 subscribers. And uh, that's going to be the end. So have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.